Well, the group seeking freedom for a man convicted of killing an Omaha police officer in the 1970s is hoping to spread their message to a larger audience. 3 News Now reporter Jessica Edson tells us a story behind the sign. If you're driving on Highway 75 headed downtown, you might spot this face next to the words freedom for Ed. Some will know and think and reflect and maybe take action to help us. Some will say, who is Ed Poindexter and look it up and maybe get inspired to help this effort. For some in Omaha, Ed Poindexter's name and story is familiar. For some, it's the story of a Black Panther who conspired with David Rice, later known as Mondo, to kill Officer Larry Menard with a bomb. For others, it's the story of an innocent man, now serving a life sentence for the crime of simply being associated with the Black Panthers. Yeah, they, they seemed like they could have done it because of the kind of things that they were saying. And all of the evidence, if you look at the evidence against it, none of it against them, none of it stands up. Innocence or guilt aside, Love believes Poindexter, who suffers from many health problems and is at high risk for dying from COVID-19, should be granted a compassionate release. In 2021, with all the calls for people who affirm and support Black Lives Matter, well, this is a black lie. The group hoping to free Poindexter has been petitioning Nebraska's Pardons Board and Governor Ricketts. They're hoping that with this sign, elected officials and the everyday person will be inspired to join their cause. Reporting in Omaha, Jessica Edson, 3 News Now. We reached out to Omaha Police Officer Association for a comment, but we did not hear back from them.